Hi there, Andrew McRae, uh, Supervisor of Operations from Trailtown Airport in uh, Prince Edward Island, Canada, I'm here at the Rosenbauer factory. Uh, Chris already talked about Red 6, and I'd like to show you around Red 5 now, there's a few differences. Uh, as you walk up to the truck, one thing you'll notice that we uh, we chose to go with was our paint scheme is is kind of a nice soft uh, color between the black top and then the deep red. Um, we also added our airport logo and our Maltese cross for our, our airport and then uh, chose to go with black wheels as well so I think that all the colors together really really bring the, the uh, vibrant color scheme together for this truck. As we move along to this cabinet here one of the things that Rosenbauer really did well was not only for the operators but for anyone uh, who's servicing vehicle mechanics or or operators they really made access uh, and the uh, the ease of use really really nice so this cabinet will open here and swing out this step so now you can access anything inside that needs to be worked on or serviced uh, the mechanic can service the dry cam uh, any lighting systems uh, can also be accessed uh, from this compartment and standing on this uh, this platform here. So as we move to the back of the truck here, again, what Chris already mentioned is the accessibility. Either mechanics or anyone who's servicing the truck, either operators or mechanics, um, you'll notice that everything is is. Uh, open and quite easy to access any fluids that need to be checked or if the engine needs to be serviced. So this gives a great visual here. On, on this platform the mechanic will be really happy that he's able to easily access anything in this, in this en engine compartment. So in addition to the 20,000 lumen uh, side lights on either side of the truck, we also have a command light on top on both trucks. So as you come up here, you're going to grab your controls and then activate the lights. And as you can see, it'll start to come up. This will give you the ability to rotate 360 degrees all around the scene. One thing that's really nice about this light is as I go to stow it, I can just hit park and it'll automatically park the command light for us. Okay, as we come up to the top of Red 6 here, you'll see our ladder gantry off to this side. Everything's stored properly and locked in, in place. Uh, once we lower that, if we need to, we can then access through this hatch uh, the pump panel and any component, components there that we need to service. As we look over here, again, as I said earlier, everything's easy and accessible. That's the whole goal of this, uh, this area up here. We can easily access the dry chem or anything else uh, plumbing related that we need to uh, either service or work on or whatever. As we come to the front of the truck here, you'll see our uh, our turret here. This is an air aspirating uh, turret and we also added this here uh, baffle or clamshell just to kind of aerate that foam a little bit more. So in Canada we have a requirement to uh, meet a standard for the rail height. Um, we elected to go with with the aluminum rail height. It gives a sense of uh, uh, added comfort and safety up here when the guys are working if they're filling the dry cam barrel or doing any type of maintenance up here. Okay, so as we move back to this compartment, you'll see our nitrogen cylinder tank. It's uh, activated by winch here, so I can do this all remote controlled. That motor will swing out and then lower that tank onto the ground so we don't have to use any effort to, uh, to change those bottles out. 
So as you look up here on the side of this truck, uh, every single side or all four sides has this camera which allows us to have a 360 de degree, uh, kind of a bird's eye view from inside the cab, which we'll see here in a second. All I need to do is to get that uh, bird's eye view is to hit camera. And now you'll see the camera off the front of the truck as well as the side angle view, which gives us our bird's eye view. And as you'll notice, Chris will start to walk into my left side here, and that will allow uh, me to know when someone's walking up to the truck. Great. In closing, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the walk around of, uh, of these new Rosenbauer 4x4 Panthers. Um, we're super excited uh, with the final product. You know, we started this process uh, a little over a year ago with Rosenbauer and with the team that we put together in Charlottetown and the team here at Rosenbauer with Duane um, really made the process uh, simple, super knowledgeable and really we were able to develop a product that I think that certainly uh, I'm proud of and I'm, I'm sure Andrew is and the, and the whole team at uh, the Charlottetown. You know, we you don't get to purchase these types of uh, apparatus uh, all the time so we're super excited to have these in service for probably the next uh, 20 plus years and uh, can't wait to get them home and, uh, and, and get training on them and get them, and get them into service. Uh, super happy with the design. Uh, you know, we got state-of-the-art state apparatus here and uh, with, uh, with the design working with Rosenbauer brought an old school feel of, of the traditions of fire departments uh, with a bit of gold leaf and, and a bit of flare on there. So uh, super, super happy with the final product here at Rosenbauer. Yep, couldn't have said it better myself. Anyone, everyone from uh, Rosenbauer has been top notch to, to work with and this entire process has been really smooth. And then just coming down here and seeing the factory, uh, it's been exceptional. Um, really first class team to, to work with.